All right, praise the Lord. Our word of the day comes from the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 5. Romans, chapter 8, verse 5. And it says, For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, this whole chapter is a very, very powerful chapter, Romans chapter 8. We just leave the chapter 7 where it's talking about how wretched our flesh is, how the things we want to do, we don't do, and the things we do want to do, uh, the don't want to do, those are the things we do. Wretched man that we are, who can save us from this body of death? And that's where we thank God through Christ Jesus, who is able to do this. And now we come into this about living according to the Spirit. There's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. So we see that in this particular verse, the importance of, the, of living according to the Spirit. And those are the things of the Spirit. But how do we do that? What does that mean? We have both a flesh body and we have a spirit man inside of us. Of course, like in verse 9 it says, But you are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit, if indeed the Spirit of God dwells in you. Now, if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he is not his. So first and foremost, we must be born again. We must have the Spirit of God. If we don't, if our, our hearts are not truly for the things of God, if we don't recognize him as Abba Father, if we're just going through the motions and trying on our own strength to be good and be religious, and we don't have the Spirit of God in us, we're in a sad state of affairs and we need salvation. But if we have the Spirit now, we have this flesh person uh, that's still there, the old man, and then this new man, the inner man, the spirit man, that wants the things of God. How do we set our minds, uh, live, living, living according to the Spirit? A key verse would be in 2 Corinthians chapter 10. It talks about spiritual warfare. It says in verse 4, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, which means according to the flesh, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. So how do we walk according to the Spirit when we got all these thoughts coming into our mind, which the enemy is planting in our mind, causing us to think about things of the world, things of the flesh? And here it is. We got to cast down those arguments, taking every thought captive into the obedience of Christ. How do we do that? We must know him. We must have the word in us. Uh, blessed are you young men for you have overcome the evil one for the word of God abides in you it is by understanding the word and taking each thought and saying is this of God or is this of the world is this of the flesh and when we see that it's not of God we use the word of God to fight against the thoughts of the world and that is how we keep our minds on the things of God praise the Lord we live according to the spirit um, and not according to the flesh. And so we live and we grow when we take every thought captive to the word of God. So, Lord, we thank you today. We just pray that you cause us to get to know your word and to, to know you better. So that when every thought that doesn't lift you up comes into our minds, we are able to take it captive and cast it out. And remember who we are in you, Lord. Help us through your spirit. Walk in the spirit. And we'll find peace and joy and comfort and hope. And so uh, turn us from the thoughts of the flesh in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's our word of the day. Praise the Lord.